There we go. Are we live? We are, yeah. Yay. Yay, go, siblings. It's been a long time What's coming. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's been yeah, a long time in the making. Yeah, so we're real. Yeah. I'm really dark, aren't I? You are dark. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. To, be fair, to be fair, that's probably a good thing because you don't look too good. Oh, harsh. Oh. Harsh but fair. Oh. Really harsh. <laughs> oh. I've, had, I've definitely had better days. The truth does hurt. It does, it's see? It's very quick, Claire. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. See? That's it. <laughs> so. So. Here we oh, go. We were going to talk about the Met Police. Mm. Yeah. And full disclosure, yeah. full disclosure, Claire's son is a police officer. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks oh. for that. So, yeah. Just, just to be how long fair. Has he been, how long has he been police officer now, Claire? Um, ooh, three years, yeah. I think, two years. I want to say three years. God, that's gone yeah. really quick. Yeah, it has gone quick. But yeah, I want to say three years. And we might tell me different, but I think I'm sure it is. No, because sure he, he, he done all the training in the pandemic, didn't he? Yeah, we did. Yeah, so yeah. it was big for three years, getting on for three yeah, years. It's anyway. gone really quick. It has gone yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. So? Um, yeah, yeah what's the so thing about all this? Billy was just saying that there's been a number one arrested up north somewhere now. No. Yeah, yeah, another one for, Peter, for um, what was it? Interfering with a child. Interfering with a child. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm just trying to find. I'm just trying to get the story up now. Yeah. How on earth are we supposed to? Where do you go? Where do you go? Who do you trust? You know, you're going to call nine nine nine, and one of these assholes are going to turn up. Yeah. You know? yeah officer, officer charged with sexual assault. Mm. The the thing is, like you you tell your kids, don't you? If you're in trouble. Um, if you see a policeman, go to the policeman, you know, because that's, that's your safe space, right? Well, yeah, that's but, not the case anymore, is it? No. Well, no, it's so even that, that um, there was a head teacher of a private school in London. Yeah. A girls, girls school, a really upmarket school in Marlebone. Yeah. Just told, us, told her students, if a, a male lone police officer approaches you, find help. Mm. Now, that's really sad, well, isn't it? It's sad. It's, it's tragic. It's really tragic. But... Um, but uh, yeah, who do you trust? Who who do you trust now? But the thing is, that's, that, they reckon it was going on for years. Yeah. So you, you think you think the amount, of, the, the amount of the amount of them and they reckon that they're going to charge one a week now, or they're going to take yeah, one a week? Yeah, that's what I'm saying early on to these is that I I'd read what's the, the new who's the new head of the bat? I can't remember his name. Mark Mark Rowley. Rowley. Mark Rowley. Yeah, yeah. So he said he's going to make sure he's going to hunt them down until he can arrest one a week. But this has also been going on for years. Yeah, yeah, of course it has. And I mean, how is he going to find them? If no one's putting in, if no one's reporting it, how is he going to? Well, do you know, that's the funny thing, because I've heard that um, even when people hear things going on, they're petrified to report yeah. it, because if it doesn't go well, yeah, the right way, it... you're the one in the firing line. Yeah, you know? and their name is your name is then tainted for a really long time. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. So you can kind of understand why people sort of let it go over their heads and they hear things. And like, I mean, it's, it's the racism as well, the misogyny, you know, yeah. and it's, it's awful. It's, it's rife. It is rife. So, uh, just, but I to, to, think remember... to think it's been going on for years, to think it's been going on for years. And it, I mean, they even had that, I don't know whether it was a chief superintendent or someone high up yeah. who killed, who killed himself two or three weeks ago because they were onto him in this pedophile ring. Yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, these poor kids think they're safe when they're when they're, you know, found. Targets. And... Huh? huh? They're targets. Yeah, they are. They are. It's awful. A lot of people. Mm. But it's, it's the it's the it's the like you say it's the trust that people have got in them, kids, especially kids, and it's the power, isn't it? It's, I mean, if a, when you're when you're a twelve, eleven year old and you're in the street and a police officer says, "You wait, come here," yeah, the first thing you do is go over there. Yeah, yeah. Right, do you know what? Flip, flip the coin. The police, the good police officers, are also mm. going to suffer. Of course they are. Of 
course they are. Because that's the problem. It's all right saying you're going to arrest one a week, but are you going to arrest the right ones? The right ones, yeah. You know, because in in your endeavour to make everything right in the police force, are you going to get rid of some good people be it because you've got it wrong? And let's face it, people have been prosecuted and they've got it wrong. Yeah, I mean, this, this latest one, the one that was holding women captive, I mean, they paid him 60 grand. Mm, no. Like, it, it'd been like, he'd been done for it. He'd been done for it. And while he was waiting for his outcome, like the trial, would have paid him 60 yeah. grand. His wages, yeah. No, that is just, in, that's insane. Right? I, think that, that, I think that was a copper that carried a gun. Yeah. yeah. No. No, I saw pictures of him. He looked like an arsehole. <laughs> He did. You know, you just did, look at his face. You could imagine him bowling around with his gun in his hand, you know what I mean? Yeah. Looking like it's really something special. You know? Look at the my gun. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, he's, he's, he's meant to be looking after diplomats and... Do you know what I mean? Like, politicians and that. And in, in, in his free time, he's locking up women in his basement. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I can remember years ago, I used to move prisoners around, didn't I, and in vans and stuff. I can remember turning up at police stations in East London and I'd pull up, because I was a lot younger then, obviously, and get out the van. And there would be police officers hanging out the windows at the top, yeah, with their canteen or whatever, going, oh, she is, is a security cool girl, you know, look at her. You know, and just making innuendos, you know. I am nothing overtly disgusting and wrong, but innuendos, you know. And it just made me feel really uncomfortable, you know, to get out the van and walk past them. I hated it. I, yeah. I yeah. The prison service is rife with misogyny, rife with people treating women like there's something on the bottom of their shoe, you know? It's, 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 the, boys, it's the boys club, isn't it? It's the boys club. It's a boys club. It's a man thing. And I'm not saying it's all men, but it's a good majority of men, you know? I think they put on that uniform. They put on that uniform and it, they think they're untouchable. That's the problem. Yeah, their power. And I, I personally, I think porn's got a lot to answer for. Mm. I really well, do. I, I think... Porn shows women as being a commodity. Do you know what I mean? Something you can pick up, use, and throw away. Yeah. But I mean, that was, I was reading something the other day, and that took a massive boost in the pandemic. Yeah, what, porn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like that, that fellow that was just arrested, Andrew Tate. Mm. He was an absolute dickhead. Yeah. He's like, he moved to Romania during that time and so he could get girls on cameras and lock them up in a warehouse and make them dance at the night time so he could yeah. make money out. Mm. I mean, I'd hate to be a woman in the Met or, or any any kind of like... Just a woman in general at the moment. The Army, the Met, anything like that. Yeah. Must yeah. be horrible. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it's horrible. And it's deep-rooted as well, you know. Really deep-rooted. Female rooted. officers don't get paid less, do they? No. no not anymore, no. Not anymore, no, no, no. I mean, you think about the Met, I mean, that's just... That's just child abuse and sexual abuse. Mm. I mean, you think what else is going on? Mm. Mm. Like the corruption and mm. and all sorts of things like that. You, you think of what else is... Oh, I is bet the corruption is huge. Oh, yeah. Huge. We don't the even know. We don't even, is that just a smidgen of what's going yeah. on? No. I mean, okay. I, there, was, there was a thing I'll tell you the other day about some coppers that raided an house in Norfolk for yeah. someone, who, someone who was selling weed. And he, he he told them that he had hundred and five thousand pounds that they confiscated, but the coppers only give you ninety five. Yeah. But they don't believe they didn't believe him. Right. They no. believe the others, but in the end, they, they yeah. got found out. But yeah. that sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I bet that happens every day. Of course it does. It happens every day. Well, it's like silly little things where a copper will pull you over and go, "But you you didn't indicate here, or you were doing that," and you were like, "You know that you did." Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they but they just want to they just want to mm. do something. Mm. I haven't been pulled over by the police. I, I can't couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you the last time before I had kids. Yeah, oh, no, I've been, been a long time. speeding, but I've, I've never been pulled like pulled over because they thought I'd done something wrong. Uh. Other than speeding. No, I mean, the only time I've been pulled over is in mum's car because obviously it's a disability car, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the only, only a couple of times. But nine times out of ten, they're all right when they come to you, but then you get the ones that, they, you, get the ones that are just, you can just tell. Yeah, they from did. The, from, the first, from the first word out of your mouth, you think, oh, it's one of them ones. Yeah. When, when so what did you no, get pulled over for? Uh, one time was they just wanted to, because they, they, they said they run the car and it came back as a woman owner. 
a woman registered driver and it was a male driving it. Mm. Uh, and the second time, mum, when she, mum had her blue convertible, she reversed into a lorry, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> and one of the lights was on the blink. It kept flashing. Yeah. yeah. It, was in the night, it was in the night time, so they followed me up and yeah. called me over for that. Ah, uh, see. So that was it. Yeah. But it's the same with anyone who puts on a uniform. It's the same you go to a pub and you see a bouncer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're terrible as well. It's the same, yeah. it's the same sort of thing, do you know what I mean? And they feel like they're God's gift to women. And half of them are, toss <laughs> half of them are tossers. Of course they are. It's just because they're big. Oh, definitely. I've got yeah. to be honest, I don't think there's enough money in the world to make them want to be a police officer. No, yeah, definitely not. No. Yeah, no, it's just, you know, it's it's all paperwork, isn't it? It's not even, it's not you don't even see them walking down the street anymore. It's all yeah. paperwork, and yeah, yeah. Especially especially the first few months when Tom was a cop, he was coming home every day like, like mm. someone had just stamped on his cat's head in front of him. He was so not pissed off, but like upset. Mm. Just because mm. I think it's because only the first few weeks, the things he was seeing. Mm. Yeah. I, don't, I think it's a, it must be an hard thing to take to be thrusted into just going to someone's flat because for a wellness check and you go in there and they've been dead six weeks. Mm. You know what I mean? It must be a, it must be yeah. hard to sort of like think, oh shit, this is what I've got to do every day. Yeah, well, it's I, mean, I mean, I mean, I just, I just couldn't deal with the children thing. Yeah, no, no, it's too, just, it'd be too difficult. Yeah, I just wouldn't be. Able to just imagine going to a house where you know something's wrong, but you can't. You have to walk away. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's that sixth sense thing, isn't it? You just, you know, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I used to get that a lot. I was a midwife, and you'd go in and see people, and you knew if something wasn't right, the atmosphere in the place wasn't right, wherever mm. it was, you know, there was, yeah, you could just tell the relationship wasn't right, or the connection with the baby wasn't right, you know. But you, you could never get to the bottom of it sometimes, and you had to, you know, you had to kind of. Just record it and move on. Yeah, I just yeah. don't. I, I think if it comes to kids, I just don't think you'd be able to keep your emotions in check. I think I'd lose my rag. Mm, mm. Especially yeah, if there's, does. especially if the person's there. Yeah. Like you've you've caught them or something. Do you know what I mean? I don't think you'd be a, a just. But police officers are still human. They must just want to like, uh, like. Oh, yeah. And I, and yeah. I bet some. Of them, I bet some of them do when there's no one watching. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you see it on them. You see it on them old bill shows. They they nick them with no marks on. They get to the old bill station. They've got a bloody lip. Yeah, yeah. It's dodgy, though, isn't it? You've got body cams on and what have you. So all they've, got do, all they've got to do is say they slipped over in the back. Yeah. Mm, dodgy. Dodgy yeah, ground. Yeah. Mm. So, what do we think about the black fellow who was killed by the five black police officers in America? Uh, I couldn't watch the video. I had to turn it off. It was horrendous. Oh, it was horrible, wasn't it? It was horrendous. It was Mm. Especially the bit when he starts crawling out for his mum, I was like, oh. I know. I mean, oh, why would you, what goes on in your head to make you think that it's, it's okay to continue doing what you're doing in that situation? You know, the, the poor fellas, they're, like, <coughs> they're knocking nine bells of shit out of him. He's calling for his mum, and in your head, you're thinking, let's just punch him some more. Let's just kick him yeah. some more. But they're, they're kicking him, tasing him, pepper spraying him all at the same time. Yeah. Like, and, and, and the initial the initial stop, he stopped his car. They didn't even yeah. ask him for his license or anything. They just opened his door, yeah. dragged him out dragged onto the floor. Out. Yeah. And there's four of them or five of them just literally it was like a it was like a fight outside a pub. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they just no, it's, they, it's just I mean that's gonna that's got a cause up raw. But they, they I mean they literally what they've done is they beat him to death. Yeah. That's what they Well, did. I think there were rights all over America, weren't there? Mm. But I mean, what's interesting, it was four black coppers and a black. I was just going to say that. Mm. Kid. I was just going to say that because it's normally, you know, yeah. sad reality is, it's, it's normally, you know, let's say well, it's, it's normally it's black coppers, isn't it? Up, you know, yeah, doing it to a black yeah. fella. But that, um, is it Shola, Dr. Shola, or, or the one that's with Piers Morgan sometimes as well? I can't remember her name, but she's a Black Lives Matter woman. And she was saying that this is still racism because it's internalised racism, because the black police officers are so used to being surrounded by white, I suppose, supremacists, I suppose, mm -hmm. they become racist themselves. That's my I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I suppose it depends how deep you think about it, doesn't it? 
Yeah. I I just oh, I'm white, so I don't know what it's like to live a black person's life. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But other, do we need to go any deeper? Other than these are five really nasty pieces of shit whose whose minds are warped and think that it's okay to go around beating up somebody. Do we need to go? Do we need to? Do we need to go any deeper than that in these situations? I don't know. Maybe we do. I just think it's an epidemic with American police because it happens all of the time. Mm. It does it does? All American the police forces have got have, have definitely got an issue. I'm not. And, I mean, and you imagine the ones that you don't hear about. Yeah, of course. There's loads. But there are, I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked at the stats, so maybe I should look. But they do say that actually, if you look at the rate of who gets killed in America, white, white people tend to get killed more than black people by police. Mm. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, like, but, but they're the ones that you don't hear, that you don't, you know. Because when, when, when black men are killed, it's more publicised. It's put... Mm. Yeah. So it's, it's like the, the rage is more. Do you know what I mean? But it's the same mm. as their gun violence. I mean, it's not. It's the end of January. There's been forty-two mass shootings since the first of January. Oh, when no. are they going to get a grip on the gun law? Well, they won't, will they? Because I they're mean, a gun-bearing nation. It just won't. Just, it just won't happen. It's, it's a nation so, built on religion and, and guns. It is. It is. I mean, like, if you go, I mean, the south of America is hugely religious, isn't it? You know, yeah. it's. Mm. Um, yeah, and I mean it's not just like your average religion. It's like that. It's the God Squad. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, I mean it is hardcore. I mean I remember watching a Louis Theroux, yeah, episode of. Mm. Um, these people are so obsessed with it. They they mm. they they stand on sides of roads with like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like um, soldiers die and gays die and all that stuff. Yeah, and I'm like... Yeah, they're, called oh, the, they're, called like the, they're called the uh, Westboro Baptist Church. Is right. that what it is? Yeah. It was such like, a good programme. I was literally, like, jaw-dropping. Mm -hmm. I could not take my eyes off the screen. I couldn't believe it. I, mean, I couldn't believe they're what famous. they were do. They're famous for doing it. But now what they do now is when they when they go to a protest, or because they do it at soldiers' funerals. Yes. Uh, like, got, uh, yes. gay men, women, and stuff like that. Yeah. And what, what happens now is there's a uh, like a biker gang. I don't know one of the biker gangs in America. I don't know what it is. But they go to all these events now and they rev all their bike engines to drown out the sound of that church. Wow. Okay. So that the families that are having the funeral yeah. can't can't hear yeah. the people shouting out like your son's a faggot and all this Sort of yeah, Claire, that's the sort of stuff they're shouting out. And they believe it. Like I think one of the daughters left though. I think one of the daughters did Yeah, because away. of Louis, because of Louis Farouk. Yeah, she, yeah, and she sort of looks back now. I haven't seen this one. It's really it's good an old one. Yeah, it's an old one. It's, yeah, it's Google, an old one, but it's definitely worth a watch. It was really yeah. good. Google it. It's, uh, Louis Farouk in the West Borough Baptist Church. Okay, I'll never look. It's yeah, really, it's definitely it's really worth weird. a watch. But they're standing on the side of the roads and people are driving past in their cars and they're like abusing them. They just don't. Yeah. Care. Yeah. They do not care the destruct like yeah. the, the what yeah, they're like, doing. They're, like, they're holding up signs like fags burning ill and all this stuff. Yes. Yeah. 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 I know. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but there's, there's like kids like my girl's age on the side of the road with t-shirts on saying fags yeah. go to hell. Yeah. Oh my God. I'll tell I you know. what, the world's gone mad at the moment. It, is. You know, you know it, reminds me, right? it reminds me of that. I've been watching loads of documentaries about that Scientology. Yeah. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Oh, and that is like, that is some real, like, backward. <laughs> is that Tom Cruise's one? Yeah, but they, they, you... when they're kids, they put them in this thing called a seal and they, they take them out of school, they make them sign a billion year contract. Go on. Because they reckon at the, end of, at, the, at the end of your life, you, you you drop your body, you go into this volcano where there's an alien called Xenu. Good. He comes yeah. he, he comes out, gives you yeah. a new body, yeah. gives you a new body, and then you go back on the earth and you'll clean it. Christ say, who comes you, up think, with right? you know, with like these these weird cults and that. Do you ever think? I know we all go. How do you get sucked into that? Yeah. But do you think you could ever be? convinced into doing something like that like no. these people are these people no. have normal lives and then join these groups and then before you know it they're doing weird things that they would never have done before how for easy to get sucked into this stuff it's crazy but for me if to get sucked into that 
stuff. You, you, you've got to have something seriously missing in your life. Do you know what mm. I mean? You've got. It's almost like you need a place to belong. You know, maybe you've not had a great upbringing. Maybe you've been abused. Maybe you've yeah. been bullied. Maybe you've got no friends. Maybe, but and you're just looking for something to hook into, something that means that that's yours. That that's yeah. where you belong. That's your yeah. safe space. And I think that's what needs to be in place for you to belong to one of those things because there's no fucking chance for me. I mean, there's you absolutely don't. no chance. I mean, how you do think that, like, you know, like that. The, thing, the thing is about Scientology is they market it as a self-help. Mm -hmm. Right, but the, like the fellow, that, yeah, but the fellow that invented yeah. it, his name's L. Hubbard, and he he is responsible for the most science fiction books ever written in history. Who is? His name's L. Ron Hubbard. Okay. And he, oh, he started Scientology, but no, no one has ever wrote more words than this man in in, in the human history <laughs> about aliens. And then all of a sudden, he started a religion, and people weren't thinking. Yeah. He's talking about Xenu and volcanoes exploding. Yeah, he's probably sat there laughing his fucking head off. Yeah, Tom, and they're all like this. You're following me. You Tom know, Cruise he's making Tom, money. <laughs> yeah, but Tom Cruise didn't look at you and think, hold on, Xenu, volcanoes. Because mm. they, 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 they do it in levels. And you, if they do it, this thing is called going up the bridge. Mm. And to get to the, to the bridge of total freedom, there's nine steps. But it's like 30 grand a step. Mind you, I have to say, talking about people like Tom Cruise who get caught up in these things, I think that in itself can be lonely. You know you're unbelievably rich. Everyone adores you. You know, yeah. it's like you can walk on water. But yeah. I think sometimes that must be the loneliest place to be because you yeah. don't know who is actually loves you. Do you know what I mean? Well, some, some people say that he just, he just goes there for the privacy because yeah. they, made, they, made a, they made a special building called the Celebrity Centre yeah. for, for Tom Cruise. And then once he joined John Travolta, Kirsty Alley, all these celebrities that went over, and um, but it didn't, and and then they got a thing in America called tax exempt status. So yeah. if you're a religion, you don't pay no tax. But Scientology are responsible for the biggest breach of the U.S. government in history. They yeah. got loads of they got loads of spies and put them in the. Uh, tax office before they were tax exempt mm. and they got information on tax officers and blackmailed them so the government oh. would give them so the government in the end gave them tax exempt status because they were going to release pictures of people and messages and things about people's wives and stuff like that um. and now, so now they don't pay no tax and now there's a big thing in America trying to get them to trying to get it revoked mm. but they're, I mean they're, they're nuts I mean they, they sign a billion year contracts and I mean, I, I, deliver, I, I, I deliver to the Scientology building in London. And, I mean, the building they own is like a castle. You go in there in the morning, there's, there's, yeah. never, there's never any more than six people in there. Yeah. And the building's worth 25 million. It's crazy, isn't it? Nobody ever goes in there. And they said there's only 25,000 Scientologists worldwide. Oh, dear. So who's got the money? But people like Tom Cruise that keep donating. Yeah. So, um, you're able to go on. That's yeah, all black 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 and see what happens. There was another one called Nexium. It was another cult. And do you remember watching that TV show Smallville? Oh, oh yeah. Not Spider Man. One of the girls that was in that, she joined she's in prison now. Because she, she joined this she joined this cult with this fella. She made loads of girls get branded, like actually branded on their hips with his name. Ooh. And then she, basically what they'd done was turn it into a sex cult. God. And she was like, she was basically like that, just Lane Maxwell. Yeah. I was just going to say that. And she was going out getting girls, mm. bringing them back to her. I mean, he got 125 years in prison, which I don't know why he'd give someone 125 years. But he, yeah. got, 100, he got 125 years and she got 15. Good God. Did you watch that? Sorry, change the subject slightly and going on to that, Jill Maxwell. Did you watch the documentaries? I oh, there's, so many, there's so many. I've, I've watched a couple. I watched the one that's on Netflix. So good. What one are you talking about? So there's the one about the two of them. So there's one mainly yeah. about him, but then the one about her. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that was quite new, the one about her. I might be wrong. But, yeah, the one about her was good. See, the thing is, and tell me, because you've seen the documentary, so maybe because I almost feel some sympathy for her. 
because I kind of almost feel like she was willed in. She had a really horrible upbringing. I mean, she had money, but her dad was a bit weird, you know, and she had a quite a horrible upbringing in that way. I kind of feel like she was hooked in as well. Um, but the difference with her was that she was hooked in and then she was kind of um, given the job, the role, I suppose, of in getting encouraging these girls in. And she, it was mm. her place to be. It was where she felt safe and, you know, loved I've, and I've, cared for. I think everything in her life has been weird. Her dad died in mysterious circumstances, yeah. fell overboard naked on his boat yeah. and died. But then they said he was a, an agent for Mossad, the Israeli, whatever it was. And then she just went off the rails as a socialite, and that's when she that's when she met up with that Jeffrey Epstein. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean. I think she was almost trafficked in a way. You know, yeah, she, I mean, she he knew what he, he was going to do with her. He knew what he was going to do with her when he mm -hmm. met her. So, what did you think after you saw the documentaries? I didn't have any sympathy for her. Mm. Yeah, but, the, but to be fair, that documentary on Netflix paints her out to be like a, like an evil witch. Like she's, they don't really give you much of her background. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I mean, they, they just talk about her dad. Yeah, but but, I mean, but, but, uh, but the only because her dad's newsworthy. But I mean, they never talked about how her dad would abuse her and not physically mm. abuse her, not sexually, but like mentally abuse her and mm. tell her she was ugly and she wasn't his favorite child and. Yeah. All this sort of stuff, do you know what I mean? And yeah. She had a shitty life. Yeah, and, yeah. and so so I kind of, yeah, I do. I do. I feel some sympathy. I mean, that's not excusing what she did. She did what uh, she did. Yeah. And mm. she has to be punished for that. But she, I think, I don't think the court gave enough um, consideration to what, how she grew up. You no, know? I mean, she, 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 she phoned into that Piers Morgan's TV show on the other day from prison. Oh, did she? Oh, did yeah. she? Yeah. yeah, and you can tell that she's, I mean, she's going on all sort of like, sort of like, there was more than Jeffrey involved. And I mean, she must have names going back for years. Oh, I'm surprised she's still alive. I I've mean, like, even them. when it, they said that yeah. Jeffrey Epstein killed himself, I was thinking to myself, there's no way. No. That no. That he, he was, I mean, he was, he was snuffed out, wasn't he? You know, and I, I, I think. I'm I'm surprised that she's still alive. <clears throat> like you said, she's got names and information and dates and times. You know, she could oh, yeah. she could bring down a lot of people. Mm. Did you see the Did you see the geezer that they put him in prison with? No. I'm going to show you on. Oh, good God! They put him in prison with geezer. who was an ex copper. <laughs> yeah. Who was like? Who was in prison for killing like eleven people? Yeah. Up in this room and said, "Like, right, see you later." Yeah. Good luck. And they, can, and you then they like, can you share it on the screen? Yeah, yeah. And then a couple of a couple of days later, he was dead. Yeah. Hmm. Not suspicious then. Yeah. No, not in the slightest. Let's have a look. Hold on. Here he is. What a beast Hi, of a Bill, man! You got this. You got this. Yeah. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. When you're ready, any minute now. Yeah. You, you see the geezer next to him? Oh, oh yeah. pack it in. That's, oh, what they that's, what, that's what they put him in a cell with, and then a day later he was dead. Yeah, <laughs> not surprising then. Yeah. And then they came in They came in of a night time, moved that big geezer out, and said, oh, yeah. no, look, he's killed himself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what a load of rubbish. Yeah. Yeah, you're having a laugh. Yeah, that's right. Because it's too dangerous to people, you know? I mean, it's... I suppose, in a way, it's... I, I don't know, the Andrew Tate. Could this be dodgy for him? Because what is that cult thing that he keeps talking about? Oh, it's his, it's his own thing. He's like... He, he, he's, it's a grift. Basically, he's got in, like, young fellas who yeah. have got no luck with women. Yeah. have got nothing going for them. And he's saying to him, like, he'll, he'll pump them up, he'll get them going, he'll, like, yeah. he'll teach them how to, to do this, do that. Yeah, but, pay yeah. me, but pay me 30 quid a month. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, then. And there's about three million dickheads across the world that have done it. That are doing it, yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Mm. But, they, I mean, they wanted, him, they wanted him gone because he's just a... He's, he 
because he's just causing trouble. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they needed him quiet. Mm. But same as that, I mean, Epps, I mean, when you look to that that interview with Prince, what's his name, Andrew? Yeah, we were talking about that woman, and he said, "No, I've got a sweating disease." You think, what on earth oh, are you no. talking about? That was so bizarre. That that it interview was—I was, couldn't even—it was cringeworthy. Oh, I'm, I'm, halfway through, I was thinking, you might as well pull out the gun now, put it in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Your head off. <laughs> Oh, there was another you? interview oh. like that recently, and you thought that was a big mistake. Who was interviewed recently, and it was really bad? Oh God, oh, I've got to forget now. I'll have to think. But the thing is, was it Harry? It wasn't Harry, was it? Was it Prince Who? Harry? Was it? Yeah, well, there was Prince Harry because that wasn't too clever either, was it? Yeah. Really, what he did. But um, did you watch the document? Was... Did you watch the Netflix documentary, The Harry and Meghan? No, I couldn't bother. Oh, I did. I got sucked in. I got totally sucked in. Ugh. I think they're a pain in the ass. I think they just need to disappear, go and live their lives in California and get on with it, personally. Yeah. That was cringe. That was cringe, whatever that was. And they just done that for a few quid. Yeah. yeah. I think they've really sold their family out. I think it's quite disgusting. But everyone's got a different viewpoint. I mean, I, I just know that when she first came, for me, I thought it was a breath of fresh air for the royal family, you know. Yeah. And I think most people did. So I, I don't recognise what they're describing, you know. But they're obviously there. It's their it's their perspective, I suppose. But I just I, I just don't recognise what they're describing. So, have you watched? Um, <laughs> I know it's I know it's not real life. Before you go, yeah. no, um, I have the crown. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, do you know what? The, the royal family doesn't. I don't feel either way about them. No. Like. Don't mm. like them, don't dislike them. But mm. oh my god, it's so good. Like I'm literally at the end of series five nearly. And then you ah. some of it is 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 true. And then it's not until you look yeah. back and you think, sod being in that family. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean the only, the only one I like was the Queen and she died. Yes, mm. almighty. I mean, I mean who would want to do it? I mean, okay, I'm sure it's lovely to be wined and dined and spoil and have living luxury and all of that. But I mean, who wants to live in a in a goldfish bowl your whole life? You know, you know oh, as the queen, she's actually got no, she's got no power to make any decisions. No, right? no it's not her. None. And it's... Um, I mean, I, it's just like when Harry and Meghan when Harry and Meghan decided to go, I didn't feel badly. I just thought, good luck to them. You know, the whole yeah, so did I. Them, it's not for them. No. no, that's it. They've made a, they've made the right decision. Yeah, but the fact that they keep coming back just to rip a little bit more, mm. a little, little bit more, a little bit, I think is just is, is yeah. Quite just go, cool just go out. and be quiet. Just yeah, go, be live happy, your life. You know, live your life. It's fine. You, you're not going to tear the, the, the family down. You know, he still fact, wants all the he still wants all the trappings of it. Though. He wants the police protection, and he wants like the yeah. The, 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 and I, I, I can understand that he's worried for his kids and that because he's it will always be Prince Harry. But then mm-hmm. put put it in a book that I shot twenty five Taliban, yeah, no, or whatever it was. What, what, I don't know why you would do that. No, that's right, that's right. But um, but yeah. So I just I just think that they've not done themselves any favors, really. Mm. Um, I just I mean I'm a bit like you, Em. I, I kind of the royal family I can take or leave. But actually, I like the history. You know, I like the fact that we've got a history. We've got a monarchy, and yeah, we've got a lot of history. And it's... And I, I like that. Yeah. Um, despite what people feel about colonialism, I, I still like the fact that we're a country with a history. You know, mm. I do. I do. Sorry, but I do. And yeah, um, no, it, yeah, it's, it's nice. You know, it's nice. It's nice, and I'm I'm proud to be British English. You know, I am. It's so. Um, yeah, that wine you drunk. <laughs> Yeah, there was a lot in there. I'm proud to be here. Right. You, you talk, about, talk about the royal family. It comes around full circle. Jeffrey Epstein. He was like, he was, he was with all them. He was sitting in the Queen's back garden having tea. I know. I know. I know. Well, that's that's awesome. Andrew, isn't it? You know, bringing them all into the fold, I suppose. But you know, the other day, I come across a video on YouTube, and it was yeah. they call them urban explorers. Yeah. And these these kids, they. Broke into Jeff, well, it broke it, it's abandoned, but it's a massive mansion, country house of Jeffrey Epstein somewhere in England, up near Grantham. Oh, okay. Oh. And it's a massive, massive mansion. And it, yeah. it's just, it's, it, it, it's obviously been raided by the police. 
and they go inside and everything's tipped upside down and he's got all old photos in there. They just go through his house and they mm. find antique buttons and all sorts. Well, just exactly how he left it. Pictures of Ghislaine Gil- uh, on the wall, like half naked. No. Like, What's that, a program? It's on YouTube. It's just a, a Urban Explorers YouTube channel. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, all sorts of weird, like, weird stuff. Bill, Bill Clinton, uh, photos of Bill Clinton on the wall, like paintings of Bill Clinton and stuff like that. It's weird. Yeah. Oh, they found it's, it, like, it's just been left. Yeah, because it's, it's obviously still in his estate. Right. Yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, it's like when they when they raided his house in like the Virgin Islands, that island that he owned, that Epstein yeah. Island, and they found like yeah. there was like there was like photos of Bill Clinton dressed up in a bird's cocktail dress. Oh, for God's sake! Do you know what I mean? And he's like, he's telling everyone that he only travelled on that plane twice, and then when they got the logs, it was more like thirty six times. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're all deep bastards. Yeah. And he had a plane fitted out. He had a plane fitted out with two double bedrooms built into the back of it. Mm. Oh, to guy in the fields. It's a paraphernalia. There you go. There you go. Who saw Nicola Sturgeon on telly? That what? was funny. Nicola Sturgeon. Did you not see her no. interview with an ITV fella? Because um, you know, like they um, sent all these trans, well, not all these, there's two, there's more, but there's two that that are in the news, to um, prisons. One of them raped two women with his penis and then decided he was a woman and got sent to a woman's prison. And um, and, and initially, um, Nicola Sturgeon's like, well, trans women are women, trans women are women, blah, blah, blah. But because there was an uproar, they had to back turn and they pulled him out of there and put him in segregation, waiting for re-evaluation and what have you. But she's on ITV News and she is like tripping up her words. So this this interview was saying to her, so are trans women women? And she said, yes, they are. I can't remember it verbatim. I know, yeah. Are trans women women? Yes, they are. But unless they're in prison with other women. She went, well, no, they're still women. He said, but they're not women, woman enough to be in a woman's prison. Well, no, because you have to take so tra- not all trans women are women, then you know. And she's like, really, just oh, it was, it was hilarious to watch. I, I, do you know what? You, I just don't think you can win that argument. I just, I think that's such a like, uh-huh. it's like, is a man a man? Well, or I just, I don't, I don't see that when people say, yeah, but they identify as, I just don't get it. I don't get, no, I don't get it. I just think, let, if you want to be, if you're like, you know, I don't know if I thought you like, just don't shove it down my throat. No, that's right. That's right. And I, I do think women need safe spaces. I think women need their own spaces. And the danger in Scotland with their new bill and self-ID is that any man, any predatory man, and look at what's going on for women. Look how many women are murdered. Do you know what I mean? Any predatory man can turn around and say, oh, I'm a woman. And, yeah. and walk into, into the women's changing rooms. Yeah. Or into, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's wrong. Yeah. You know, it's wrong. I mean, if you, unfortunately, life's a bitch. Life's a bitch. And we don't always get everything that we want. Do you know what I mean? I, I want to walk, but I can't. You know, it's not going to happen for me. In you, if, you're, if you're a man, you can't actually become a woman. You can tinker tinker you know tinker about with things and change the way you look and that's surgery or whatever you know you can do all those things and you can live life as a woman but you can't actually be a woman yeah you're never gonna exactly. have sex it's not gonna happen no, if, if, if my mum had wheels she'd be a bike well exactly What's that from? exactly if my dad had a uterus he'd be my mum <laughs> I, I, I nicked that from gino de campo did you <laughs> I've never heard that line before. Yeah, I need to hear from you. So, yeah, but you know, the life's weird at the moment. Yeah. But I, I do feel like you, Em. I just live how you want to live. Do you know what I mean? Identify how you want to identify. Yeah. But you, um, unfortunately, you have to know the restrictions. Yeah, you have to. You can't be a man in woman's sport. Yeah, you know, there are things you can't do. Yeah, you just. I mean, you can't. You wouldn't have a man box a woman. Well, that's the problem. There has been in, in you know, like in um, MMA type fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There have been men fighting women because that man's identified as a woman. Okay, imagine getting beat by and all your mates going, well, you got done by a woman. Oh, I hope, I would hope that did happen, but I don't suppose it did. But these things are happening. Um, but anyway. The world's gone mad. Well, that's yes. gone mad. 
No, we'll have to. Uh, to know. What, what we do next? What, what we'll do next time when we all come on, we'll just all get drunk. Yeah, it's a good idea because you two don't really say too much about your opinions. I've got to be honest. We'll just, we'll just all get drunk. It's boring, really. <laughs> Yeah, you've got a fuck all to say. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just mm. slurring. Look. I think that. Mm. Mm. Fucking come on. You've said plenty. What you're supposed to say. We have said plenty. I'm just trying try not to offend after yeah, that. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh-oh. That's the thing, Bill. You've hit the nail on the head there. You'd, no one wants to say anything. Yeah, but why? But the thing no is, is... It's, it's, yeah, but stand up. If the people yeah. have got to start standing up because this is the problem, you know. Whatever you believe, whatever you believe, you might have a completely different opinion to me, but at some point people have got to have the balls to stand by what they think, you know, because oh, I don't know, it's, it, is, it is beginning to get quite frustrating, really. Yeah, I mean, I was I mean, in the other week and I... I've spoken to everybody individually and everybody feels the same way as I do about certain things. But when, when the opportunity came up and I started speaking about it, did any of the bastards back me up? Yeah, no. No, they just stood back there with their mouth shut. And I, yeah. I just, I, just I, I can't do that anymore. I won't do that anymore. The only reason I say I that is because there. obviously <laughs> with, with going up on YouTube, it has certain rules. It does have certain rules. But you know, but those rules are not right. I make I'll make you right. They're not right. But <laughs> if you no, if you want okay. if you want your content to stay up, they're rules you have to follow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, YouTube, come and see me. We'll discuss it. I shall I shall send you a list of the no nos after clear. Right? Yeah, send me a list of the no nos. <laughs> he's, he's making hand gestures. The no no. Yes, because you've broke every one of them today. I have not. <laughs> oh, have I? Seriously, no. have I? So, a couple of things. What, like? Tell me. Well, I've, I've, well, I might as well say them now. But, like, you can't mention the word sex. Can you not? Murder, suicide. Right. You can you, you can say them, but you've got to describe them. So if I, if I was to say someone was killed or whatever... I'd say they're not living anymore. So if someone commits suicide, you can't say they commit suicide. No, because it, it, it's all to do with the monetization. It, your video gets like pushed down and down and further and further down the list. Jesus. It's weird. It's, it is weird, but I've been I've been researched all this. Um, Mum said, well, you, kind of... said you've been over this, Bill. Yeah, I have. So I'm glad you came on piss for the first one. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. I'll try and be sober for the next. <laughs> I will, I'll be sober um, for the next one. <coughs> but we'll have to sort I'll out. I'll try not to say all those words you just said. Yeah, all right. Not to be in a call. <laughs> Don't say for a bugger. That's it. <laughs> but, I mean, people do do it, but it's obviously people that have got massive following, so no matter whether yeah. they get yeah, they yeah, get. Yeah. Well, we will actually mm. say, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Mm. If you haven't offended. If we've got zero people <laughs> We need, to work out, we need to work out something that makes us different to everyone else, though. Because you can't, I think, if we just sort of like talk and there are lulls, you know, periods of silence and whatever, I don't think it'll work. All be pissed. Well, no, we don't have to all be pissed. That's just being silly, Bill. You know, <laughs> I, think one pissed, I think one pissed person is enough. That's I think true. so. Yeah. Someone's going to say really well tonight. But we'll think of saying we've got to go I'm not been sleeping well lately. We need to come up with like a, like a gimmick or something. Yeah, exactly. You know? Like some sort of, yeah, I don't know. I think of something. I think of yeah. something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, Let's do that. So, should we call it quits then for tonight? And we'll yeah, do it, we'll um, call it quits. Yeah. And we'll do it uh, again next Tuesday? Yeah, yeah. Next see Tuesday. Next Tuesday. I'll see you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> Cheery, cheery, everyone. Bye. Cheerio, everyone. Bye. Bye.